Jojo, Jojo, Jojo. Now, I have been trying, despite our differences, to just have compassion for your situation, for what you've gone through. I have had compassion for you. Now, last year, we, we didn't see eye to eye. Even then, we had a private conversation with a third party on the line as a mediator to get to the bottom of this. But yet you still keep running around spreading lies about me. You still keep running around saying that I am ex-TSCC when Susie herself has said I was never part of TSCC. But if you catch this, catch this. Ex-TSCC is your motherfucking auntie ho. And she said, fuck Joe ho. Where your nigga at ho? She said that. She said that about you. She did that about you, but that's your motherfucking auntie. But yeah, you come at me and spread lies from platform to platform about me being ex-TSCC when you know that your auntie was ex-TSCC. Bitch, how that work? How long do you think that you're going to slick shade me and I ain't going to say nothing back to your fuck ass? Because I've been trying to be nice to you. Once we had that conversation, girl, you even called up on my live a couple times to tell your story. Whereas you went on one other live and you said this was the first time you ever told your story. No, it wasn't, bitch. Don't make me go through my video archives now. Don't make me do it. I didn't even want to have to call you, bitch. Like, I don't want to have to do that with you. But what I'm not going to let you do is keep going around lying on me. How the fuck do you forgive on site who is documented talking about your fuck ass? But I... Ah, you can't produce a receipt yet, ho. You can't produce a receipt yet. But you stay running around saying that I had some shit to do with what happened to you. How does that work? One thing that the people don't realize about you is you started this whole shit. You started the whole shit. You are the one who first background checked Susie. You are the one who did that. You did it. So whatever the fuck she did after that about you, you started it. The difference between you and the other people on the list, we didn't do nothing to provoke. We didn't background check. I didn't background check. Didn't nobody background check but you. You the one that started. And why the fuck you talking on the phone to this woman's ex-husband? How do you know who her ex-husband is, bitch? How do you know who her ex-husband is? If you didn't do all the shit that you did. So you did all the shit. And then Susie took it far. Too far. She took it too far. But you started it. And you failed to realize that you started it. You keep coming on my platform. And other people's platform. Trying to label me as something that I never was. Because of your hurt. But the thing is. You started a deadly game. Because you started the background checks. You started all that stuff. People that's new on the scene don't know what you started. And Sean Bradley, whenever I come up in your live and I be spraying people, look, I'm working on not doing that. I am. Like, I was actually in your live yesterday and I didn't say a word. Not because I don't want to comment, but I really didn't have um, anything to say about the video. I was just listening. But it's a lot of people who have done things to lead up to all of this that you see that's happening. All of this that you see that's happening with other people. And JoJo is one of them. But JoJo, I was trying to be kind to you. But you take my kindness for weakness. Until I have to call you out and actually present a receipt. I'm still waiting for your receipt, bitch. I'm still right, waiting for yours. You don't get to decide when I shut the fuck up, bitch. You don't get to decide. You don't get to decide when I forgive anybody. Mullins. April. You. Even though I have forgiven you for how you ran with Amazing Grace now I'm trying to come after me. I forgave you. I, I've been peaceful to you. Even when you might not have deserved it. You don't get to decide how I feel. And that's the problem with all these people on here. They want to dictate my feelings. Bitch, my feelings are mine. You can't dictate them. You can't tell me what the motherfucking do. But I got to expose you, bitch. I got to. Because you doing too much. 
And you've been doing too much for a whole fucking year when it comes to me. And I still was being peaceful with you. I still was trying. This is the fucking fuck shit that y'all do that people don't see. Where you gonna leave me a comment. Now, if I if I catch you in somebody else's life and I come up in there swinging on your motherfucking head, people gonna be like, Jay Dunn is attacking somebody. She coming out the blue on somebody. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't come out the blue to attack anybody. I simply get the people who trying to get me. Because these nice, nasty, slick, shady ass comments that you leave me, bitch, they don't go over my head, bitch. I see what you're doing. I see what you're trying to say. And again, I tried to spare you. I didn't want to say nothing about you. But this is what you do. This is what you leave to me. Jojo, serious question though. I know I done called you a bitch and all that, so you probably won't be receptive to my question. But this is a serious question. Why do you support Onsite April after what happened to you? I have video footage of Onsite April being in there with the stuff happening to you. There is proof. But because y'all are cool, you want to put it on me? So you cool with her, so now you want to run around, put it on me. But Onsite April did this to you. Not only that, you support Onsite April. So are you saying that you condone what she did? Or maybe you saying that you had a heart of forgiveness, which is fine to have a heart of forgiveness. But just because you got a heart of forgiveness, that don't mean that you could dictate when my forgiveness will be, if it will ever come. That's not for you to decide. That's on me to decide. The same exact thing that you're doing right now, supporting on-site April, is the same thing that I did. Sean, Sean Bradley, I, I promise you, I don't mean to keep throwing your name out here, but I have really been a sub for you since 2013 or 14. Sean Bradley, you know that we have had Twitter conversations, not, not anything deep, just on surface, but we have had them. So for club chat to come and say that I used to be this or that, and then I'm, you know, being something else. No, I supported Sean before there was a club chat. I supported Sean before there was a club chat. I know all about Blab. I know all about the original Vegas gay. I know all about that. I was there. I was there. So when Susie supported my channel and subscribed to my channel, I subscribed back. Back in the day, there was something called Sub for Sub. Sean Bradley, I found him, I subbed to him. I don't think he ever subbed. Well, he, well, I subbed to him back then. I believe that he subbed to me now, but that's not to chase clout. But this is just me trying to make you guys understand how YouTube was at one point. Where if you subscribe to me, I'm going to subscribe to you. If you putting out content, you subscribe to me, I'm going to subscribe to you. So that's all that this was. Was somebody subscribing to me and, and trying to bring traffic to my channel and me having enough dignity and integrity and all that um, or me just having enough common courtesy to be like, okay, you sub to me. If you go and do something, I'm going to try to look. One thing that JoJo keep trying to harp on is that I'm XTSCC. I'm not XTSCC. I'm not Club Chat. I'm not Brain Nation. I'm not uh, Tracy's Pieces. I'm not The Crew. I'm just me. Jay Dunn, and I support people. I go to their channels and see whatever. So at that time, a year ago, I was supporting Susie to look at her content just like she supported me. But when she did that about JoJo's mama, now I can't stand a bitch, but the bitch had the, the actual decency, believe it or not, to let me know of the content that she was going to do that night when she was going to do that about JoJo's mom. 
She let me know about it because Mother's Day was on the horizon. It was this time last year. And she was about to do this dumbass shit. But she did the dumbass shit because JoJo had background checked her, had called her ex-husband, had did all this shit towards her. So she went this gutter and low to get back at JoJo. And she let me know, hey, I'm about to do this. You probably ain't going to like this. Don't come on the channel. Bitch, I didn't come on the motherfucking channel. I didn't go on the channel. I didn't see this bullshit that happened with you. But you stay running around. Keep saying that I'm XTSCC. And don't you tell me when to forgive Mullins. Don't you tell me what the fuck to do, ho, bitch. Pay, bitch, you don't pay a fucking bill in this house, bitch. So don't you tell me shit. Now, again, I tried to give you compassion. I tried to give you peace and respect. But I had to address you for you to stop your motherfucking lying, ho. Because you run around lying. Even to the point of Mullins. I feel like Mullins really did bamboozle you with that reading. Even with that, that's not enough for you. But I had to show you in black and white. Black and white. Literally, black and white. Yo coming towards me calling me XTSCC. And XTSCC, your favorite auntie. Talking shit about your motherfucking ass while VS beating a dead skeleton and shit like that about your mom. Girl, if you ain't trying to have peace with me, then get the fuck off my channel and stop spreading lies about me, ho. Hopefully this will shut your fucking mouth because I'm sick of your ass too. But yeah, sorry I had to step out of character, y'all. But this is the shit that I'm talking about. This is the reason why I just go ham on people. This is the reason why I spaz. Bullshit like this. Y'all enjoy the rest, the rest of y'all Sunday. Have a good day. Jojo. I respected you enough even whenever I had um showed the live video, um, which is called the bystander effect part two. Even when I put that live, um, that lie from the cult back then when they was beating the skeleton, out of respect for you, I didn't even show any visuals. I just showed the chat and I showed what people were saying. I showed how these people were bystanders on this shit. But even with that respect for you, you seem to have no respect for me. And you want to run around here and lie on me. So, bitch, fuck you. Bye.